Hi everyone and welcome back to another Weebly Wizard tutorial. Today we're going to be having a quick look at uh, footers in your website. Now for those of you who don't know what a footer is, I'll just scroll down to the bottom of my website here and um, I'll show you this bottom section. So basically a footer obviously is at the foot of your website. Now a footer is uh, something that's consistent throughout the whole website typically. So um, information that you want to be available to your users and people who visit the site that's available on every single page regardless of the page that they visited. So an example of these things might be as you can say here as you can see here um, I have a YouTube uh, subscription uh, link. If I click on that, that opens in a new window my Weebly Wizard uh, YouTube page. I'll just close that. Um, then on the next column, you can see here we've just got a couple of kind of uh, quick links to other sections of my website. For an example, is contact or about or videos. And also at the bottom, we've got the usual, you know, all rights reserved, copyright 2011 to 13, etc., etc. But you can basically have anything you like in this bottom section. So what I'm going to do today is just um, just create a, a subscription um, kind of, uh, I guess you call it a form. Really, it's only one. Um, it's only one little kind of field. But that's what we're going to be creating today. So in this example, I have a, uh, a newsletter that I want my users and visitors to my website to subscribe to. Um, for those of you who don't have um, a footer on your website, basically you can add anything you want into it. You can drag items, all of these, um, all of these different elements at the top you can drag into. So in this instance, I'm just going to click on my footer and instantly it flicks to the footer um, editing mode. Now from here, I can do anything I like. So um, I've also got my um, existing columns, but I actually want to create just a single field subscription. Um, form for my newsletter. So I'm going to click into my form here that I've already dragged in and I'm going to make it very simple. So I'm going to get rid of my title. I don't need that. It's going to be as simple as um, as an email, um, an email field. So I'm going to click on uh, the name, get rid of that. And I do suggest this for anybody who's going to create a subscription kind of um, form on your website. It's really important that users don't feel like they have to give too much information away um, if they want to um, kind of opt in for whatever you're offering. So as you can see here, literally all I'm going to have is email and the submit button. I can see here you click on the um, on the form, usual form editing. You decide where you want the form to go and all that kind of thing. So um, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I need for my form. So I hit save and that's saved um, my form. And then I'm just going to add basically um, a tiny little section above it, which basically tells the user what they're actually subscribing to. So I'll grab a, um, a normal paragraph um, button uh, down here into my footer. I don't actually need uh, the, the kind of the, the header or the title um, element. So I'm going to say subscribe to the newsletter simple as that save footer and that, that's all you need obviously we can change um, kind of the way it looks and um, the way it's justified and which which column is sitting within my website here but just for the purpose of this I just wanted to show you an example of how we add a form into a footer um, and get people to subscribe um, there are obviously implications and spam uh, laws around subscriptions and newsletters and all that kind of thing. So just make sure you've checked those out before you go kind of getting a heap of subscriptions to your website and peppering people with emails um, because the fines can be quite hefty. So I suggest you check that out. If you are sending newsletters, um, one service that is particularly useful kind of for sending email newsletters uh, or any kind of electronic direct mail in the form of a newsletter is, of course, MailChimp. Um, there are links to MailChimp on my website, so I suggest you go over there and have a look at them. It's a free service to send emails, and all of your emails will adhere to all of the um, the kind of spam laws that are, um, that are necessary. So anyway, that's a, that's a quick look at how to add an element and a form to uh, to the footer on your website. Um, if you want more information on uh, Weebly Wizard or want to have a quick look at some other videos, then go over to weebly dash wizard.weebly.com and have a look at the website um, and thanks for watching.